find out you're doing this. What? Oh my God! Hello, I'm Paul French. Welcome to FHM Towers. I'm here on the sofa with a man who goes by the rather funky name of James Brown. So hello, James. How you doing? Now, James is a magician, but he's also a very powerful hypnotist and one of the best not-for-profit pickpockets working in the world today. All of which, from where I'm sitting, makes him a very dangerous man. Anywhere you like, say stop. stop. Remember that card? Yeah. With one hand, I'll find that card. One card comes out, jumps through the air and lands. Your card was the uh, Jack of Clubs, yes? No. Sorry, hold that a minute. Was it the Seven of Clubs? No. What was your card? Uh, six of Spades. Okay, how would you feel if it changed while you were holding it? Whoa. I go by the title Professional Opportunist, which encompasses a magician, pickpocket and hypnotist. Give me the coin, but hold your hand out for me. Pull your sleeve up slightly so everybody can see. Uh, put this hand on top of this one. If I push the coin through your hand, would that be a good trick? Yeah. Did you see it go? Yeah. Would it be a good trick if it's in your hand? Yeah. Check it out. That would have been a good trick. <laughs> would it be a better trick if it was, say, tucked underneath your watch? Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> How easy is it still someone's watch? Very. Hold on my wrist tight as you can. Tap my finger. Do you know what happens? Lift your hand up, check it out, have a look. So your watch, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want to take that back? You keep that as a souvenir. Okay, thank you. Your mind desensitises you from things that become commonplace. Uh, so as a pickpocket, I utilise these, uh, these ideas of, of sort of uh, touching people in a way that they feel comfortable with and then their mind desensitizes them from those touches. Um, I'm constantly directing your attention from one place to the other because your mind can't focus on more than one thing at a time. Let's give those a quick shuffle. Excellent stuff, Mike. <coughs> what I'd like you to do is this, just anywhere you like, just say stop. stop. Remember that card. You saw what the card was? Yeah. I shuffle them up so there's nowhere I could know what or where the card is. If I were to take the cards and just run through them, you'd, you'd be able to see all these cards, yes? And uh, is there any particular order or pattern to these cards, any way that they're mixed up or spread? No? No? Uh, would you cut about, I don't know, about half the cards? Just take about half the cards for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You happy with that? Uh, just give me a colour, red or black. Here we go, watch this. Did you see that? No, because with a bit of luck, I should end up with all the red cards. Turn your hand over, have a look. You should end up with all the black cards. What was your card? Yeah, yeah. Two of diamonds. Two of diamonds. I've got a feeling that was the one back down here no. in my pocket. I have to engage with you. Um, quite often I will tell you beforehand I'm a pickpocket. Yeah. Um, and now it's up to me to, to, to sort of manufacture the moments and not so much control your attention, but direct your attention to allow me to, to steal watches, wallets, ties, um, pretty much anything and everything can be stolen under the right circumstances. Actually, do you know what, do you know what the coolest part about this particular coin is? How'd you do that? No, 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 it's the fact that it looks like your wallet. <laughs> that is your bad I'm motherfucker. a bad motherfucker. Are you okay? <laughs> A lot of magicians around the world ask me, uh, what's the best way to, 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 for instance, you know, what's the best way to learn how to steal a watch if they, go, if they want to go in that direction? And uh, oddly enough, a lot of people will say, practice on your friends, your family, practice at home on mannequins. Um, I've never done that. I, I, I feel that it's best to just go out and do it, just to get on with it, uh, because you, uh, you, you learn much quicker in the trenches, I think is the best way to put it. Yeah. You got a little bit of cash, have you? I've got some cash. Yeah, I think that's. Where'd you get that? I think that's uh, that's possibly yours. I think that might be yours as well. Excellent stuff. And uh, we'll do a little swap. I'll take this, and you can have uh, that. that back. Thank you very much. You know, when you throw yourself into these situations, you have to deal instantly with with failure, with concepts of failure, with with, with people's reactions, and uh, I, I personally feel your skills are honed much quicker that way. Would you put your initials on the coin, Callum? Uh, Callum, do you know how to uh, take your own pulse, by the way? Yeah, could you just show everybody that you can take your own pulse? Yeah, squeeze it tight and just hold your arm up in front of you and just straighten this arm slightly. Straighten this arm, squeeze it tight and just look here. Squeeze tight, 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 lock it tight. 
When you're ready and not before, I just want you to very slowly open your hand and have a look at what you've done to the coin. Check it out for me. Show everybody. If you say to somebody, what do you think about hypnosis? They'll say, oh, you know, you know, barking like a dog, you know, dancing like a monkey sort of yeah. ideas. And that really isn't what hypnosis is about. It's a much more refined um, concept. There's a lot more finesse involved, I feel, in the world of hypnosis. In a moment, I'm going to say one, two eyes open. You can open your eyes. One, two eyes open. I'm going to show you a card. It's not important. You won't remember it, but don't worry, OK? I'm just going to come around here slightly. Just pop this in your mind. Did you see the card, yes? Yeah. Yeah, just going to show other people too. Could you hold your hand out flat? Hold this hand out flat. That's it. Just there. And just put your finger on top. Oh. You know the feeling you get when you wake up in the morning and you've had a dream, and the more you try and think about the dream, the further it goes from your mind? The further it goes from your mind. The more you try and think of it, the further it goes. Try and say the card and find it's gone. This is weird. Is it yet, yeah, space? Turn it over. Now, this is the question. Any reason why you thought of the Eight of Spades? Because you saw it. This has never been about making her forget something. This has always been about getting an idea into her head. See, because before we began, I placed one card in my pocket just to see if I could put it in your mind. Did you see it again that time? No, I didn't. That's because it's in my eye. It's in my eye. It's not in your eye. Have a look. Thank <laughs> you.